All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and today we are back with another Pokemon Masters video. I've been absolutely loving this game quite a bit lately, um, especially with the newest events coming out. So obviously, it's coming Christmas time. We have a new Christmas event. Uh, the just to let you know too, the Mewtwo event will be ending fairly soon in less than a week. So make sure you take advantage of it as much as possible. Um, especially the fact that there, there oh, I don't know how to describe it. There's, if you're not looking to try and max out your Mewtwo as much as possible. So trying to get the, the gold tickets, uh, the five star gold tickets in order to increase his potential. I recommend doing that rather than getting the copies of Mewtwo to increase his sync move damage. I recommend increasing his stats with the Mewtwo specific gold ticket that they provide in the event uh, in the exchange uh shop okay strictly because of the fact that one of the main critiques that i gave about mewtwo i, I know i'm ranting a little bit i'll get to the actual video in a sec but this is relevant um one of the main critiques that i gave about mewtwo in his video was the fact that he's a glass cannon and he just has shitty defense uh in general okay so the best way to alleviate that and make him have similar defense as your other five-star uh, Pokemon is to actually get those gold tickets, as many of them as possible before the event ends, and raise his stats. Okay, that's your best bet. Aside from that, okay, if you're not looking to max out your Mewtwo, I highly recommend still doing the event so you can try and get as much of the... Uh, of the strike bottles whatever they're called the strike blends okay the the gold this gold and red or purple or green whatever it is you know the, the highest tier strike blends as possible just because of the fact that the this the mewtwo event is the easiest way to actually get your a lot of your strike your dps pokemon up to level 120 okay so you still have a lot of pokemon that are not level 120 yet the mewtwo event is the easiest way to do that all right so Sorry about that. Enough with the rant. Let's actually go on with today's video, which is discussing the newest sync pairs in the game, which is Rosa in her Santa outfit, Holiday 2019, coming with Delibird, okay, the newest support role Pokemon, as well as Sybold, Sabled, I don't know what how he's pronounced, Holiday 2019, and he comes with Octillery. All right. Now, we haven't seen any replicated characters in quite a while, ever since Brock, as far as I'm aware, off the top of my head. Um, and you're, one of the main reasons why I'm doing the video in this style compared to my usual style for Pokemon Masters is just because of the fact that they don't actually show the Pokemon's full abilities in the game for some reason. They'll show the stats of the Pokemon, and they'll show the moveset of the Pokemon, but they won't give the descriptions of what the Musevs do on top of not actually showing what their passive abilities are either. So that's kind of why we're doing this because I had to actually look up via Cerebi.net what their passives were and such in order to like find out this info. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have Rosa Holiday 2019 come with Delibird. This is her max stats at level 1 20 each of these guys are five star by the way of course okay she's a support pokemon weakness to steel has an hp of 558 attack 166 defense of 208 special attack 105 special defense 183 speed 221 okay has to move aerial ace and we'll move on to this to serebi in order to get full uh gotcha. aerial ace never misses consumes two gauges only hits one opponent x attack all Sharply raises attack of all allied sync pairs. It affects all your allies. All of the presence, which is going to be the main ability for uh, that you want to pay attention to for Delibird, consumes two gauges, affects all your allies, makes the move gauge accelerate on the allied field of play, raises the feet speed of all allied sync pairs, sharply raises the attack, defense, special attack, special defense, evasiveness, or accuracy of all allied sync pairs at random. So basically, you'll randomly get one of these uh, other buffs, okay? The move gauge acceleration is guaranteed, as well as the speed buff is also guaranteed for all your teammates. Any other type of buff is random. 
And then we have Drill Peck, okay, which costs three move slots and only affects one opponent. Has a power of 120, accuracy of 100. I forgot to mention the area ace has a power of 54, by the way. Okay, so that's Deli Bird. Next up, before I give my thoughts about each of the Pokemon, uh, let's take a look at Octillery. Octillery is a tech Pokemon weak to lightning or thunder or electric. My bad, my bad. I'm here thinking of like other games. <laughs> weak to electric. HP of 541, attack 139, defense 190, special attack 231, uh, special defense 190, speed 178. Okay, in terms of his abilities, let's walk down. Oh, oh, I forgot to show the the passives. Real quick, by the way, um, the passive abilities for Deli Bird is Wide Awake prevents the Pokemon from falling asleep. Snow Shelter protects the Pokemon from damage from a hailstorm, and Healing Hail 1 restores the Pokemon's HP whenever it takes an action during a hailstorm. Okay, so now back to Octillery. Octillery's passive is Hostile Environment 1, raises the chance of inflicting status conditions with the additional effects of moves. Fortuitous 4 has a chance good chance of raising the user's attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, accuracy, or evasiveness at random when an attack is successful, and piercing glaze, gaze, which moves never miss. All right, so first actual uh, skill or attack, Octazuka has a power of 67, accuracy 85, costs two gauges, only hits one opponent, has a good chance of lowering the target's accuracy. Knows X special defense, sharply raises the user's special defense, uses two gauges, only affects himself. Knows Scald, okay? It's a water type, special attack, max power 104, accuracy 100, moves slots 3, hits one opponent, removes the frozen condition if he's frozen, has a mutter chance of leaving the target burn. Only the best, his fourth move. Uh, it's a self move, uses two gauges, sharply raises the user's defense and special attack. Now, in terms of my thoughts about these Pokemon, okay, I will say straight off the bat, uh, Octillery is honestly not that great just because of the fact that his stats are pretty bad. Okay, for a level 120 Pokemon, this is his stats. That's not great. This is actually pretty bad stats. Okay, if he had a good move set to make up for it, then it might make then it would be okay. But even his move set isn't that greatest. He has a super high damaging move called Scald. Okay, with 104 power and 100 accuracy, but because his special attack stat is only at oh excuse me. Is only at 231 at level 120 that is like ridiculously low that's that's easily about half of what other pokemon like strike pokemon like mewtwo have for example all right who have similarly uh high damaging moves or even other pokemon like pidgeot um septile uh even mega like houndoom like like artillery is just not a very good Pokemon. He's trying to go to DPS when he doesn't have the stats to be a DPS or too damaging when he doesn't have the stats to be a damage Pokemon. Um, Octus, like X special defense kind of doesn't matter because uh, this kit doesn't really help him. Um, the only actual relevant move like attack across the whole uh, his whole kit is Octazuka which lowers the enemy's accuracy which as of right now I'm questioning whether or not that's even relevant at the moment. Uh, just because of the fact that... It, yeah, like, I, I want to say there's other Pokemon right now. I haven't looked it up yet, but I'm pretty sure there's got to be some other Pokemon that also lo uh, lower the enemy's accuracy. But his passive abilities are okay, but, like, they're not that great. Hostile Environment 1 raises the chance of afflicting status to conditions with the effects, additional effects of moves. That's decent because it means you have a more a higher chance of burning them and lowering their accuracy at the same time. Uh, that's not too bad. Fortuitous 4 has a good chance of ra randomly buffing uh, the user when an attack is successful. That's decent too. Piercing Gaze is decent. Like, they're all 
decent, but they're nothing like crazy. Uh, and given the fact that, again, he has low stats, he, he just feels too much of a wild card. And even then, let's say you got lucky and like got all the best shit with all the randomness that's involved in his kit, he will still be subpar compared to any other actual five-star strike Pokemon currently in the game. So as of right now, I would say even though he's a tech Pokemon, he doesn't really feel too much like a tech Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, um, I would like if I want an opponent to be burnt by the way being burned I believe does affect uh, the enemies or the, the Pokemon's attack stat All right, it has their attack. I believe I believe that's still a thing in Pokemon masters um, I Can just use another fire Pokemon that actually knows burning moves too. I don't have to necessarily use Octillery uh, Specifically Okay, so anyways, that's my thoughts about Attiller. Let me quickly go to Delibird. Uh, in terms of Delibird, his passives are kind of okay. They're, they're kind of... Like, I'm not really expecting too much from his passive. The only relevant passive, in my opinion, is Healing Hail 1, which heals Delibird whenever you do moves during a hailstorm. That's it. That's the only relevant ability in my opinion um, that would warrant wanting to have Deli Bird on your team um, or even trying to go for like a hailstorm type team, okay? Is that Deli Bird can heal himself essentially with his own passive. Uh, the Deli Bird is actually not that bad. Is well, or no, I want that's probably that's a very understatement. Delibird is actually kind of nuts, specifically because of the all the presence ability that he has. The fact that it increases the move gauge and raises speed of all allied sync players, that and gives a random buff of anything else, that's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Strictly because of the fact that, in case you're not aware, raising your Pokemon speed already increases the rate that you recover gauges. In the game and so what they're doing is they're making the gauge accelerate at its natural pace it's accelerating the natural pace on its own without raising speed on top of the raising the speed of all your Pokemon all at once you're basically getting a times four speed increase for using this once <laughs> or something along those lines times three times four I don't know times something um, something nutty okay speed increase just by using it once and you get random buffs for all of your pokemon on the on the field that's crazy that's insane okay it, it kind of helps it, it it helps too they have some pretty nice damaging abilities like drill pick or aerial ace that never misses in case the enemy's like just going crazy lowering your accuracy for whatever god awful reason um the fact you have a, 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 x attack all is also nice too for if you're going for more physical team as well but deli bird is actually really nuts uh and if i were to go for either of the two pokemon i would definitely go for deli bird uh, octillery is kind of eh doesn't really feel like he has a place in any sort of like team as of right now but deli bird is absolutely nuts so i highly recommend deli bird um so yeah other than that, that was it for today, guys. I want to quickly give my thoughts about it. I know I wasn't able to make this video yesterday, but I'm talking about it now. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video. Um, but other than that, go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know to upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.